Alright, it's time for another math easy solution today. We're going to discuss, well, uh, complete proteins and basically look at the vegetarian diet and also look at the incomplete protein myth which states that you, to get complete proteins you need to eat meat, but uh, in this case you don't actually have to do that. And I'll show that uh, in a bit, but first I want to give a shout out to my uh, friend Jay Quisha. She's, uh, yeah, she works out a lot and she's a vegetarian. And it's pretty jacked, so uh, I asked her about complete proteins and, and how she gets it from a vegetarian diet, because I actually believed in this myth before. And uh, yeah, so, I, so that, that got me basically thinking about vegetarian diet and do some uh, research on it. So let's uh, start off with first uh, definition of complete protein from Wikipedia. Complete protein or whole protein is a source of protein that contains an adequate proportion of all nine essential amino acids necessary for dietary needs for humans or other animals. And basically, before I get to uh, the myths and uh, vegetarian diet, I want to go over amino acids. Basically, a simple organic uh, compound between carboxyl, this, uh, this element or whatever, and amino and the amino group, this NH2, etc. So, but basically, it's the building blocks of proteins. But I can go too in depth about this. I don't know too much about it. Basically, in in the form of proteins, amino acids comprise the second largest component, other than water, of human muscle cells and other tissues. So basically, yeah, they are the building blocks of what proteins are made of. And essential amino acids are these ones right here, phalein, valine, I'll just not pronounce them. There's nine of them, and basically they're, they're called essential, not because they're more important, but because your body can't synthesize or make them themselves, so that's why you need an external source. And below here is a, basically a table of op the optimal profile of nine essential amino acids that you need uh, when, when you have to comprise a complete protein, and this is per gram of protein that you take, uh, etc. right here. So... Uh, these are the nine ones here, the cysteine and tyrosine, these are, uh, I'll talk about them in a bit, yeah, they're, they're required by infants and growing children, that's why they're not included as just the essential, but it, it's included there just as a subsection kind of, and cysteine, this one as well, others are conditionally essential, because they're not normally required in the diet, but the specific populations that don't uh, synthesize or make enough uh, of them, then they need to be supplied by external means. But basically, the recommended daily intakes, uh, just to make a note for children age three and uh, years and older, is basically 10 to 20 percent higher than adult levels, and those for infants are can be as high as 150 higher in the first year of life. So that means they just need more of these amino acids per uh, yeah per gram of protein, or just more per day, or and per body weight here. Okay, so now uh, that I've covered basically amino acids, basically let's look at the incomplete protein myth. This is basically just a myth that's been going around. Basically, states plants don't have complete protein, so you must eat meat to obtain to, to obtain complete proteins. Basically, saying you can't be vegetarian uh, and be healthy at the same time. But this has been proven false. I'll explain later uh, below. And as uh, also some plants, yeah, some plants have complete proteins, and also most plants have all the essential, non-essential proteins. But one or more may be lower than the optimal ones, but eating a variety easily overcomes this. And that brings me to basically this protein combining theory that this is also a, a myth uh, earlier, I'm going to stay here. Basically this theory that vegetarians, particularly vegans, must eat complementary foods like beans and rice together to get the same, yeah, basically to get, yeah, so that the plant foods with incomplete essential amino acids kind of combine to form a complete protein. So if, yeah, basically uh, beans aren't complete, rice aren't complete, but they have varying amounts of amino acids, and when eaten together, then it, then you'll have enough for optimal. But so this is a myth of saying that you need to eat the same exact uh, meal here, so meeting all the amino acids for uh, etc. But this is also proven not true and can combine proteins throughout the whole day, so you don't need to actually eat them at the same time here, making because this one would just make it really hard to be a vegetarian. You gotta you gotta make sure you're eating the exact like uh, complete protein mixtures at every meal. So that's so uh, yeah, that's the theory that's proven wrong, and this was popularized by Francis Moore Lapels uh, in, in 1971 on Diet for a Small Planet. So he wrote it for American National Research Council, and basically the American Dietetic Association also picked it up, and this was causing, uh, cautioning vegetarians to be sure to combine their proteins. So, but then he, even the, the author changed uh, her, her position on, on protein combining, and in 1981 edition of that same, same book there, and then she wrote basically she assumed that the only way to get enough protein was to uh, make the protein like the animal protein, like a uh, complete one at the same meal. And then in, in combating the myth that the meat was the only way to get high, high quality protein, she reinforced another myth, which is that combining one. And then, uh, but then uh, she later goes on and says it's actually much, much easier than she thought. 
and it's really easy to basically getting uh, so uh, basically getting enough protein here through uh, with the vegetarian diet you could read this uh, later but uh, and basically also the later the uh, the American Dietetic Association also reverses uh, its itself in the 1980 position so even they went backwards and, and, and knew they were wrong Susanna Havila the primary author of the paper recalls that there was no basis for primary for protein combining that they could see and basically uh, they yeah, and, they, and they've uh, found there's no need to complement proteins in the same meal, and and basically, yeah, so that they reverse the position there. And also, uh, many plants, yeah, like I said above, are lower in, in uh, what are more essential amino acids, especially this this amino acid, and to a lesser extent these two here. But uh, yeah, but then uh, nonetheless, you get again, you could eat a variety of plants serve as a well balanced and complete source of amino acids. And some plants complete proteins are soybeans, kuanoa, I think that's pronounced it hemp, and there's uh, a lot more. And also uh, in this paper here, I'm going to show below it as a as a basically a myth and realities table that uh, Young and Pellet from uh, they they wrote plant proteins in relation to human protein amino acid nutrition uh, in a, in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Uh, you could download that uh, basically that uh, that journal right here in this link here, also in the video link below, because you can download these notes uh, in the Dropbox link below. Basically, here's one uh, here's some of the myths uh, and then also the realities of them. So plant proteins are incomplete. I lack specific amino acids, but then here usual uh, dietary combinations of, of proteins are complete. Specific proteins may be low in specific amino acids here, and also basically plant proteins are not as good as animal proteins. And the reality is, it's, uh, it's that's false here. They can be as good just just to eat just uh, so you just if you eat a mixture of plant proteins and become equivalent to animal proteins. And also proteins uh, from different plant animals must be consumed together in the same meal to achieve higher nutritional value. This is a proven false. You can just read this one here or like I stated above. And uh, there's, a, there's just a, a bunch uh, more as well like this one here. Plant proteins are not well digested. And this one is also uh, false as well. And yeah, and then let's see these other ones. Yeah, basically you can go over these later. But, uh, but the basic idea is it's healthy being vegetarian here. And also the position of the American Dietetic Association of Vegetarians. You can download uh, their their position from that journal in this link below. And they also say that uh, it's basically healthy to be vegetarian for uh, yeah, throughout the entire uh, life cycle of humans. Here. Pregnancy, lactation, infancy, ch childhood, uh, adolescence, and also for athletes here. So you could be an athlete. There's actually uh, many bodybuilders that are also vegetarian and, and vegan as well. Even UFC fighters like... Jake Shields and uh, whatnot, and also yeah, so you can read the bunch of notes there, and also and, and here's a good website to basically calculate how much uh, amino acids you're getting per whatever food. So yeah, if you just go on this website here, you can just uh, basically search up any food. Let's just go to that Kueno one because it's a complete protein. You can just cooked, uncooked. Let's just go with uncooked here, and then it basically tells you right here if, if this there's amino acid score it tells you all the nutritional data on. It on it and basically this amino if it's over 100 that means it's a complete protein this one's over 100 if you click something else let's say i don't know beans i guess okay let's just click one of these baked beans uh cans no salt added etc and it, and let's see oh this one doesn't have it there let's just find another one okay well, well let's just try this one beans black beans uh raw let's just see raw black beans let's see what these are Okay, yeah, so this one's also a complete protein. Yeah, so there's actually a lot of uh, plant complete proteins here, but usually there's uh, this Liza one usually a bit low on some of the uh, yeah on some of the plant proteins. But you could always uh, just eat 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 a lot of the calories of it, or just switch with other uh, plants, and you'll see that uh, they add up to over 100. Well, that's uh, all for today. Hopefully, you learned about this uh, random topic, and just I just wanted to show that it is healthy being a vegetarian. I because I I believe in now a lot of these myths for a while before that's why I, I didn't uh, yeah that's why I strayed away from vegetarian diets but uh, it's actually pretty healthy and I've actually lowered a lot of the meat that I would eat uh, knowing that I could just easily eat with plants well that's all for today hopefully you learned and uh, remember you download these notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another mad easy solution